these shots are made after putting the stern anchor. So <laughs> you, you might be able to understand what we were feeling like last night <laughs> when the stern anchor wasn't working. We are in a place called Uvita, which is a very beautiful anchorage, but <laughs> extremely rolly, unfortunately. We picked up anchor in Drake Bay about three days ago. And from there, we had it some 30 nautical miles north-northwest to get yeah. here. Listo? cruising along with four knots. There's like zero wind. Well, maybe two knots. It's a bit of rain out there. We are leaving Drake Bay. We've been here, I think, four nights. And now we're on our way to Uvita, which is about 30 miles north of here. We'll, I think we'll make some breakfast. And then we're gonna Get out the fishing gear. Maybe we can catch something yummy for dinner. Laura loves fish, so we can get some fish, that'd be awesome. Hola. No, hola, not, no hola. Hola como hola. movimiento, hola.
In the end, we did not have any luck with the fish. But we got some decent rain showers underway, so our water tanks are full to the rim again. Mark wrapped up some more delicious food, and Boga seems to be grooving in just fine. I even got to take a little nap underway. I think this whole cruising with crew thing isn't too bad after all. Well, we're nearly there. We have about another mile and a bit to go. There's like a little island that looks like a whale tail just in front of the mainland. And the anchorage that is in Navionics seems to be quite away from that little island, but right where the swell is entering. But the island should be covering the swell, so what I don't understand is why people didn't go behind the island to anchor, because it should be protected from the swell. So my guess is might have to do something with breaking waves, potentially. But we'll head in and then we'll putter behind the island and check it out, maybe. It's a bit of a bummer because the Right now it's just after high tide, so we won't see where the waves are breaking when it's low tide. So it's always a bit of a gamble, but anchoring where the anchor sign is in the chart, as you can tell, we're moving quite a bit. That might be rolly night. Whoa. And we were already rolling quite a bit yesterday, and Boga wasn't happy. I think she was a bit nauseous last night. She was really unsettled. So we're gonna try and sneak behind that island and then watch it once it goes down. Unfortunately, we could not snuck behind the island as we had hoped to. And once we dropped anchor, we were seriously thrown from left to right. After a little chat, we decided to try and deploy a stern anchor that would help to keep Carl's bow into the waves so we could get some rest during the night. But with strong tidal currents, changing directions every six hours, getting this right is not as easy as it might sound. So it turned out that our stern anchoring last night was not so very successful. Um, we made a couple of mistakes and in the end it led to us having to get up. Well, first of all, things were falling out of the cupboards in the middle of the night. And then we had to take up the anchor like at three in the morning. So I think we didn't think it through well enough last night or in the evening because well, I was a little tired and I just wanted to get it done and that's never a good Thing in sailing, going, anchoring. So now we have changed the system a little bit and I hope it's going to be better. So we did a couple of changes. One is we need some more stretch in the system. So I took one of the three strand dock lines out. It was like really down below so I didn't feel like doing that yesterday. Shame on me. But yeah, that is like connected to the anchor now. So we have a lot of more stretch in the whole system. Then what we also had yesterday is we connect um, a fender to the anchor so we can easily see where it is and easily retrieve it if we have to. And also what's a bit of a problem since we don't have a dinghy with a motor, we just have the kayak. So we're going to change the whole system a little bit. We're going to make the whole setup longer. Um, so I have a very long Dyneema line here, which doesn't have any stretch. So that's why we integrate the three strand. The idea is that he's alongside with the anchor already in the kayak so we get in position he paddles out stern mad, like, mad, 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 mad. down wave from the stern drops the anchor and then we can sort of see where the boat saddles and the line is long enough that we can you know, swing forth and back on the anchor that's the idea 
Well, let's see if this worked out better. Looks like we're slowly coming around. Yay! Well, this looks a lot more promising than yesterday. It's nicely off our stern, so we can use it in both directions. And we still have quite a bit of uh, line out, but we also have some line in case we're swinging forward and we have to slack it a little bit. Because right now the tide is still pretty low, so if we move up then we can get some slack here. It would be nice to have a bridle back there with uh, some shock absorbers, but and now we have to clear some of this chaos here. My poor little basil is taking a dive last night. And we broke one glass. And I think we also broke Boba <laughs> a little bit. She definitely wasn't happy. This is a lot better. This is a lot better. Now that we have the anchor situation figured out, it's time to explore this wonderful place. But more about that next time.